Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is the 1st of June which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, find out about the sketch this month, see the first set of cards I made and find out how you can download the file for free if you're a subscriber to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel and you're going to want to download the free printable, make sure to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The beginning of the month is always an exciting time here on my YouTube channel. On the first of each month, I share with you the new sheet load of cards and show you the set I made. And then tomorrow on the second, I'm going to be back with the process for these cards and my entire collaboration team will be joining me and sharing their first sets. Now, if you haven't yet already subscribed to their YouTube channels, followed their blogs or on Instagram, everybody is linked in that description box below. So I would love it if you would do that. So tomorrow you're all ready to go see what they've made and leave them some love. Now, if you don't know what sheet load of cards is, let me tell you a little bit about it. Each month I stop by with a free printable for my subscribers. It is a two page printable where I give you a new sketch for the month as well as cutting guidelines so you can make the most out of your paper and get a sheet load of cards. That is usually anywhere between 6 to 12 cards a month using a few pieces of pattern paper and some cardstock. Now one of the best things about sheet load is it is a great jumping off point for you. You are always free to make that sketch your own or you know change it up to fit whatever you have at home. Are you ready to see this month's sketch? Here's a look at the June 2021 sheet load of cards. Once again this month it is a special edition where we will be using our 6x6 six six paper pads. I've done that a few months now and you all seem to enjoy it. But don't worry, I will get back to 12x12 12 12 pattern paper soon enough. Just like every month, the first page shows you the sketch, the supplies you need, which this month it is 4 6x6 six six pattern papers three solid card stocks for matting and sentiment, and then four more solid card stocks for your card bases. You will be yielding eight cards if you follow the supply list and the instructions for the month. Now, in case you ever want to make a single card, like if you like the layout, I also give you the dimensions for each piece. Down here at the bottom are some alternative ideas, ways to make the sketch your own or change it up. For instance, you could rotate the sketch, you can change your sentiment from a circle to a rectangle, you can add embellishments, add foam tape between layers, just anything that you want to do. And don't forget, at the top of the printable, I have the hashtags for the month. I would love for you to use those if you share your creations here on YouTube or over on Instagram. That way I can see what you're doing with this sheet load. And since I recently announced that some team members left and I did bring on a couple new team members, I've had quite a few of you reach out to me to see about being on the team. And honestly, I kind of see what YouTubers and what Instagrammers are using those hashtags and already sharing sheet load of cards. So if you've ever maybe wanted to be considered for the team, that's going to be your best bet. And page two of the printable provides you with the cutting guides for the cardstock and the pattern papers. I usually too have some notes down here that you might want to take note of before you get started. And for my sketch, for the pattern papers, I did do two sheets of two different patterns, but like you'll see, I used four different patterns and I just kind of paired them up. So you don't exactly have to do two of two. Use what you have in your stash and we don't always have two of the same pattern. So I think it's great to have options and your cards will look different the more pattern papers that you use. Now, if you're going to get started on your first set of cards before I come back with the process video tomorrow, I did want to point out a few things just as a heads up. 
first of all, PPB will actually be sliced in half and it will fill across CS1B or this four and a quarter inch strip here. And I did do a little figure there or a little diagram of what it will look like. And then your sentiment will cover that opening in the middle. On page two, and I have written it here in the instructions, you'll want to make sure that you're careful with how you cut your pieces of CS1. Because if you would cut at three and a quarter inches wide all the way down, you're gonna cut into piece B. So I would suggest that if you're gonna get started again before I come back with the process video, to chop one and a quarter inches off the bottom of your eight and a half by 11 sheet and then cut what is at the top. Before I share with you a look at my first set and tell you how to download this month's printable, let's go ahead and look again at the supplies that I use for my cards. I decided to use the My Mind's Eye Fine and Dandy 6x6 paper pad for my first set of cards. And like I mentioned for mine, I chose four different. I tried to choose two more colorful patterns and then two that didn't have as many colors in them and that it had a little bit more smaller patterns on them. I did switch up my card bases a little bit this month by using 36 pound vellum. This gives a translucent look to the card and allows you a little peek at what's on the inside. Because I use vellum for my card base, I did have to use some white cardstock on the inside for my personal message. And then I matted my pattern paper pieces with this kind of tealish colored card sock that I just had in my stash. For the sentiments on my cards, I actually used a file that I created. I had four different sentiments and I just filled as many as I could. So I do have more than the eight that the sketch will yield. But I set these up so I could take them into my silhouette software, put on crop marks, print them, and then cut them in circles on my silhouette. Now, if you are a channel member, I am going to try to get something similar ready for you that will be a free download for you. If you aren't already a channel member and you want to know more about the perks of becoming one, I do have a link at the top of the description box below. Not only do channel members have access to behind the scenes photos and free printables that I like to share, they also have access to a visual archive for sheet load. And what that is is a file where I have a little thumbnail of each month's sheet load along with the direct link to download it. So there would be no more having to go back to the January 2020 video and watching it all the way through to find out how to download it. It's just a one-stop shop. So I would love for you to consider supporting me and find out more about those perks. Let's take a look at the first set of cards I made with the June 2021 sheet load of cards. I hope you enjoyed that look at the first set I made for the month. I like how because I used four different pieces of six by six pattern paper, none of my cards were the same. Even if the background's the same, the strip going across the center was a little different. This is a great one that you could put together and give away as a gift to a friend or family member. Now let me tell you how you can download the printable for yourself. As always, I ask that you are a subscriber to my channel. We do go on the honor system here. I don't make you email me proof or email me for any passwords. Please, if you're gonna click on that download or print, make sure that you have clicked on that subscribe button below. You can find this month's link right below my Instagram team links in the description box below. It will say below the link about a password, but your password is watching the video to find out where that link is. 
you are free to open this and print it from screen. You can download it to your computer and print it. You could pull it up on screen like an iPad or your computer and just create from there. That is up to you. Even though I do print mine in color, you can always print this in black and white if that's all you have access to. I hope that you'll enjoy using this month's sketch just as much as I did. I will be back tomorrow with the process and my collaboration team will be sharing their sets as well. Until then, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.